Marinas are a great place to keep a boat, but heavy boating traffic makes them an unsafe place to swim. If these docks have electrical service, there could be another swimming risk hidden from plain sight. I'm Scott Croft with Boat Owners Association of the United States, here to discuss electric shock drowning, or ESD. ESD occurs when minute amounts of alternating current find its way into fresh water, usually from a faulty dock or boat wiring. When this electricity passes through a swimmer, it can disable or even kill them, even if they aren't touching anything. Any dock with electrical service could be a source of dangerous electricity, and it's fresh water that allows ESD to happen. ESD isn't as great a risk in salt water as the stray electrical current takes the path of least resistance around a swimmer. However, brackish waters, such as in bays or other estuaries, could be in the danger zone, especially after a heavy rain, so you may not know when the potential exists for electric shock drowning. ESD victims appear distressed, feel numbness, tingling or pain, and unlike a drowning victim, may not be able to move their arms or legs. If they're not wearing a life jacket, they may roll face down in the water. If you notice a potential ESD victim, your first instinct may be to jump in the water, but this could make the situation much worse. Entering water with stray electricity puts you in mortal danger. The safest response to a potential ESD victim is to shut off power, starting with the power pedestals, and if possible, the main dock breaker, and call 911. Throw flotation and try to get the victim further away from the dock. Pulling them closer could put you or the victim in more danger. Don't use a metal boat pole. If you can retrieve the victim, begin CPR until first responders arrive. An automated external defibrillator, or AED, may be able to return an ESD victim's heart rate to normal. Knowing what ESD looks like and how to respond could save someone's life. So share these risks and tips with your friends, family, and fellow boaters. To learn more about ESD and what to do for ESD victims, check out the Boat US Electric Shock Drowning Resource Center at boatus.com/seaworthy/esd.